Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 82nd installment of what I like to call What I Eat Wednesdays, where we take a look at some of those What I Eat in a Day as a Fat Person videos on TikTok. Hopefully, plenty of you are watching this video. Due to the repetitive nature of What I Eat Wednesdays, I think a lot of people have been tuning out lately, which is why I've been trying to mix it up a little and get new people in there and new types of diets and stuff like that. If you would like to support the channel and become one of my fellow cynics, please consider joining channel memberships today. A join button is below, as well as a link to join in the description of the video. Before we proceed, please click the like button so that I may apply comb to mustache. What I eat in a day as a chubby person who does not want to lose weight. So if given the option of just pushing a button that would magically make you lose weight, you would not take it, right? Me neither, sis. What I eat in a day as a chubby person who does not want to lose weight. Okay, we speaking like a baby again like that one person. And then I sat and watched a movie with Spooky. Her dog's name was Spooky in that one. I started my day off with a big iced coffee with white chocolate mocha coffee creamer in it. Ah, okay. Started the day off with a milkshake. How about that? The white chocolate mocha whatever creamer is the star of that drink, huh? Can you taste the coffee in there? Hopefully the phrase blood sugar spike straight to the dome piece isn't getting too repetitive because that's what she's got right there. And then I had some avocado toast on homemade bread. Because we don't give a crap about losing weight. It's not that we're just doing a bad job at it. Oh, not trying to lose weight. I just want avocado toast made on homemade bread. Okay. That's something you don't see every day, huh? She made the bread herself. This is my favorite breakfast. It's so filling. And I don't know, man. There's not a whole lot of protein in that. You slap a few dozen eggs on there, now we're getting somewhere. Now, maybe six to eight eggs, depending on your size and how full you want to be. And then, after that, I had some vegetarian chili with toppings. Not a whole lot of protein in that either. This is my favorite right now with it being cold outside. It's just so good and filling and then I- Okay, here's what I'm gonna have today. First, I started my day off with a little bit of coffee. I don't normally like caffeine, but some mornings I just feel like I need that extra pick-me-up. Is this soft-spoken jazz radio station voice doing anything for you guys? Oh my, that would be nice. Maybe we should go for a walk in the park. Yeah. That would be fun. <laughs> Starting to sound like SpongeBob when he became normal. Yeah, Squidward. That would be just fine. Wonderful weather we're having. <laughs> Everything in life can go back to some kind of SpongeBob reference, man. My oldest daughter used to watch SpongeBob back during its heyday, so that's why I have a ton of SpongeBob references. I wasn't watching it by myself. There's nothing wrong with watching SpongeBob as an adult. It was one of the funnier cartoons, dude. Filling, and then I had another big cup of coffee. That's coffee. Uh, okay. Dude, that coffee is as white as my inner thigh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I haven't been outside in months. The weather is terrible here. Kind of blows, honestly. If I'm being real with you, I need to move immediately. The same creamer in it. And then I... The same creamer in it. That was all creamer. That was some of the whitest coffee that I have ever seen. It was literally the color of a sheet of freaking paper. Look, it's literally the same whiteness as this notepad right here, dude. According to my coffee swatch, that ain't coffee. The same creamer in it. And then I had some chips, and then I had some salsa with it. And then I had some chips, and then I left the preschool. I forgot to show the salsa, sorry. If you've ever been featured in any of my videos, and I made fun of like one stupid little thing like the way that you said this or the way that you did that, please don't develop a complex because of that. I don't want anybody to like change the way that they are and feel bad because I made some stupid off remark about something, right? And then after that, I went to- Dude, what are you doing? 
Dude, how many calories have we drank today? You went to Tropical Smoothie Cafe and bought a forearm sized drink. That drink is the size of my forearm, fam. Tropical Smoothie Cafe, I got a white chocolate peanut butter. Another white chocolate thing? What is with you in the white chocolate? Brown chocolate's getting a little jealous at this point. This is the third white chocolate item that you have had today. I think you might have a problem. You go to AA. My life is completely unmanageable and in shambles. Due to my consumption of white chocolate. Oh, we're very sorry to hear that. Welcome to AA where we all have a lot of very serious problems. What? White chocolate? Get the hell out. Wait a minute. Are you drinking white chocolate right now? All right. You might actually have a problem with it. Get back in here. <laughs> you, you can learn from this. <laughs> Typically when you have a smoothie, isn't it like fruit? Wouldn't you just call this a milkshake? I had a white chocolate smoothie. What? A banana smoothie with Splenda. And oh, there was a banana in there. Hold on. I went to Tropical Smoothie Cafe. I got a white chocolate peanut butter and banana smoothie with... Oh, whoops. I ended that on an in. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Oh, I see that that has gone off the screen. Let's go back. Splenda, and then I had Sun Chips. Sun Chips. They make you feel like you're not eating actual chips because it says it's made from whole grain. How about that? Man, I used to eat the hell out of some Sun Chips. And a hummus veggie wrap from Tropical Smoothie. Do you guys have... Tropical Smoothie? I don't know if that's just an Iowa thing or not. Uh, I think it is. I've never heard of this place called Tropical Smoothie. I had a really good day with food today. I felt super full and satisfied, and thank you guys, bye. So despite the fact that you ate very little protein, you were very full. That's interesting. A lot of the stuff that this person ate would be stereotypical stuff that you would think people would eat if they're trying to lose weight. The avocado toast, the sun chips, the hummus veggie wrap, perhaps. Let's take a look at that one and add it up. All right, love, so you started the day off with some coffee with white chocolate cream. Oh, you did. Eight out of ten. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that's a terrible way to start the day. The coffee is great. Get the white chocolate creamer and tons of sugar the hell out of here. And then you had some avocado toast on homemade bread. I would recommend ditching one of those pieces of toast and eating a bunch of eggs with that. You appear to be vegetarian because you were eating vegetarian chili and cheese and different things like that. So you can have eggs. And then you had some vegetarian chili. Also, not enough protein in that. You know what really spices up a vegetarian chili? A bunch of beef. <laughs> That'll really kick that thing up a few notches, I'm telling you. And then you had some more coffee. I'm doing air quotes with my hands right now because that was just another white chocolate abomination. And then after that, you had chips and salsa. And then after that, you had a white chocolate, peanut butter, and banana na 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 smoothie. White chocolate rears its ugly head yet again. Why is everything made of white chocolate in your world? You know what would have really spiced up that avocado toast? Some white chocolate. And then you had some sun chips, and you wrapped up the evening with a hummus veggie wrap. All right, after very little deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm going to give this one a... 2 out of 10. Way too much sugar, not enough protein. I gave you an extra point for the vegetarian chili. Next. All right, now we're going to be checking in with Sissy Uwu. What I eat in a day as a fat person, healing my relationship with food, lazy day edition. I don't like the sound of that, Sissy Uwu. Breakfast bowl, get it out of here. Hot sausage and salsa verde. Right, how many carbs are in that thing? Dude, read the back. How much sugar's in that thing? What are you doing with that buttermilk ranch from Whataburger? You're not gonna put that on the breakfast bowl. Add ranch hot sauce bacon bits. What? Cholula, that's a classic. Looks weird as heck, but is yummy. That already probably wasn't a very good thing to start the day off with, given the amount of carbs and sugar that were in there and the lack of protein. So now you've just kicked it up another diabetic notch. This isn't how we heal our relationship with food, sissy uwu. And then you had some pineapple, okay. The most elite fruit. Um, I'm gonna have to disagree with you there and say that mango 
is the most elite fruit. Pineapple is good, but mango, oh my god, it's crazy good. Mango isn't just sweet, it's like got a complexity to the flavor. It is so freaking good. There is nothing like a super ripe mango, man. Oh my god, it's the best. I buy these dried mangoes to eat as a snack sometimes instead of candy, but you gotta be careful because you can really go off the rails with those. You're just sitting there eating dried mango all day, like you're just sitting there watching some episodes of Cynical Dude as you do, and you're just going to town on these. The next thing you know, the whole bag is gone. Uh oh. Salmon bowl. Okay. All right. I'm liking this. Liking this a lot. We got some salmon. It looks like some mashed potatoes and some green beans. Oh, yes. And that's a ton of salmon, too. Nice. The ratio of those potatoes looks right on point, too. There's not that many. This would help you lose weight for sure. That's one of the best plates that I've seen on this show. Like, that's a complete and balanced meal right there. That's all you need right there, dude. And sriracha mayo on top. What? Oh, you know what's pretty good? Um, sriracha by itself without the excess. Why is there mayo in the sriracha? All right, man, I'm going to have to disagree with the sriracha mayo. You could just get regular sriracha, and it has less than one gram of added sugar in a teaspoon. I would recommend ditching that mayo. It's adding a bunch of unnecessary calories to that. And look, zero calories in a teaspoon. I had green beans, rice, and salmon. Oh, that was rice, not mashed potatoes. Oh, okay. Oh no, what do we got here? Cauliflower barbecue chicken pizza. Okay, so instead of a regular crust, that's a cauliflower crust, thereby eliminating a lot of the carbs from this dish. And we've got a ton of chicken on there, so that's a lot of protein. The barbecue sauce is definitely gonna have a lot of sugar in there. Be wary of that. Other than that though, I think we're okay here. I think this is okay. With ranch. Oh, get that ranch out of here. All right, approach it. Get rid of all those stupid, wacky little sauces and crap. Everything doesn't need to have ranch or some kind of sauce on it. I know you think that now because you're in the middle of your addiction, but I can assure you there is life after ranch. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. We can give up these sauces, and when we do, we will stop craving them. Everything doesn't have to be wet, man. I used to be like you. You're adding a ton of extra calories to everything that you eat, and you're not really conscious of it because it's just a stupid sauce. Your brain doesn't accept that there's calories in something that you don't have to chew. The brain is very confused by this. It's like, what? No, this is just a sauce. <laughs> this, is, this can't make me fat. It's just a sauce. There's nothing in there. And then we got some jalapeno kettle chips, the best kettle chips. Those are so freaking good. Get them away from me for the rest of time. And that's all she ate. Let's take a look at that one and add it up. All right, Sissy Uwu, you started the day off with one of the pre-made breakfast bowls, which I am not a fan of. And on top of it, you put some ranch, hot sauce, and bacon bits. Get that ranch out of here. Also, get that breakfast bowl out of here. That's all carbs, and if you look closely, I bet there's a ton of sugar in it. And then you had a pineapple, which you called an elite fruit. I would agree it's very good. It's definitely in the A tier, perhaps the S tier. And then after that, you had a very, very good meal, which consisted of salmon, rice, and green beans. That's a freaking meal right there. You could set your watch by that meal whatever that means. But on top of it, you put sriracha mayo. Why? No, no, and why? And then later on, you had some cauliflower barbecue pizza with ranch, of course. And then you wrapped up the evening with some jalapeno kettle chips. All right, after much deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm gonna give this one a four out of 10. I don't agree with that breakfast bowl. Get it out of here. That cauliflower pizza, while the macros are good, likely came from some sort of restaurant or fast food establishment. So get that out of here. All of that ranch, get that out of here. 
you should have built your whole day around that salmon, rice, and green beans and made similar dishes. They don't all have to be like salmon or whatever people think is a health food. It could have also been a steak, a potato, and some broccoli or whatever. Next. Hi guys, welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day. Remember I'm fat and I don't eat healthy. Hi Diamond, welcome back to episode 82 of What I Eat In A Day As A Fat Person. Good to see you. Today for breakfast, I had half of a Subway sandwich. Inside of my sandwich, I have tuna, pepper jack cheese. Inside of my sandwich? Okay. She says a lot of things like a little bit differently. It's very interesting. Tuna, pepper jack cheese, lettuce, spinach, cucumbers, banana peppers. Okay, so there's tuna and veg in there. If you had made that yourself, this would be a completely different story. But the score that you're going to get from that is not going to be good. Onions, jalapenos, ranch, and some Parmesan cheese. Some places try to tout themselves as some sort of health food, even though it's just fast food like any other place. And I'm not saying that is or is not the case of this particular brand. A guy like me doesn't want to disparage the sponsors. I got a lot of integrity. <laughs> I just want the money, you idiot. Give me the money, you morons. I don't care where it comes from. Sponsor me, you idiot. I'll tell these morons to drink bleach if you'll pay me for it, you idiot. Oh, shit, the camera's still running. I mean, don't do things that are bad for you. I'm here to help. I'm just kidding. I'm just being silly. I am here to help. I'm dumb enough to actually try to help people. That's the kind of moron I am. Along with my sandwich, I am having some jalapeno kettle chips. Oh, another person having those jalapeno kettle chips. Get them out of here. They're too good. The flavor of jalapenos in general is freaking phenomenal. You know that's like one of the main flavors in nacho cheese? There's jalapeno in there, man. Normally with my sandwiches, I like to have cheese Cheetos, but I totally forgot, so that's why I'm having these instead. These are way better than cheese Cheetos. Fight me. Come for me in the comments, dude. You think Cheetos are better than jalapeno kettle chips? Psh, come at me. Come at me, bro. That was a direct attack at Michelle McDaniel. I know she loves flaming Hot Cheetos. Well, I love jalapeno kettle chips. Come at me, Michelle. If you're really listening to this video right now, do me a favor, go to the comments and let me know what your favorite kind of chips are to have with the sandwich. What is that that you wrote right there on the bottom? To have with the sand. I forgot that she swaps out certain words for like funnier versions of them in her captions. Again, like I just said, mine are cheese Cheetos. Anyways, today I didn't really have anything for lunch, but for dinner my mom made some caldo de pollo. Inside of my caldo I have chicken, potato, celery, carrots, Mexican rice. Okay, alright, so you have some caldo de pollo. Caldo de pollo is a simple but richly flavored chicken soup that's packed with vegetables and seasoned with garlic and lots of fresh herbs. All right, now that's good. That's some actual homemade food that your mom made. Nice. So it's not just your dad that makes some good food. Your mom does too. Okay. Although I have chicken, potato, celery, carrots, Mexican rice, cilantro, lemon, and there was a piece of corn on the cob, but ever since... I well, hold on, dude. That's like a whole meal. There cilantro, a lemon, and there was a piece of corn on the cob. Damn. That's a good soup, dude. It's got everything in it. Corn on the cob, but ever since I was younger and I had braces, I don't like to bite directly into things. Okay, I'm sure he appreciates you randomly showing him in your video. He's like, why? So I cut the corn off of the cob. After dinner, I decided to have some ice cream and I'm having this one by Hagen dazs It is Rocky Road. Oh, geez. I haven't had that in years. You're making me all nostalgic for diabetes over here. I feel like I haven't told y'all what I've been watching recently, but I restarted Good Girls, but I'm already almost done with it again. So if you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments. No, not really. I haven't really been watching anything, honestly. I started to watch that new Squid Game show where it's supposed to be like contestants performing in a real Squid Games, but I quickly started to believe that those were actors, right? I found it impossible to believe that regular people were that animated and interesting to look at um, on that show. Those were all clearly actors. And the last thing that I had for the day was some cottage cheese and some more kettle chips. What the heck? Dipping kettle chips and cottage cheese diamond. You've gone completely insane now. Like I always tell you, that's enough about me. What did you eat today? Bye. What did I eat today? Uh, I've just been sitting over here choking on my own rage. The huge. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's take a look at that one and add it up. All right, so you started the day off with a tuna and veggie sub from a fast food establishment. Goodness, that would have been great. And then you had some jalapeno kettle chips. And then you had some caldo de pollo, which was very good. It had veggies and meat and potato in there. Everything that you needed to survive was in that soup. That was awesome. And then you had some Rocky Road ice cream for some reason. 
and you wrapped up the evening with some more kettle chips with cottage cheese. All right, after much deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm gonna give this one a three out of 10. Get those chips out of here, get that sugar out of here, get that fast food out of here, and you'll raise your score. What did you think of today's clips? Do you agree with my scores? Do you disagree? What would you score these? Leave a comment below. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.